Hello, friends, and welcome to the 7.29c patch highlights. Um, it's a kind of a small patch anyways, so if you want to read through it yourself, I think it's fine, but I'll, I'm going to mention some of the bigger changes here. So, Water Rune has lost 20 HP. So, right now, a lot of heroes are feasible in the mid lane because there's so many runes, and you're, even if you don't have the bottle, you're getting some health and mana back. Um... So a lot of mid laners were just doing fine. Even if they were like supposed to lose the matchup, they were getting runes, especially with the bottle, a lot of regen. So they nerfed, previously they nerfed the water and the bounty rune to only fill two charges instead of three on the bottle. And now the water rune is losing 20 HP as well. Seems kind of minor, and in many cases it will be. But I think, you know, the mid matchup is definitely one where like the higher level you go, like... 20 health is a big deal when you're missing this. Um, so I think maybe at lower levels, you this won't matter as much. But for the highest level, I think this will help make it so, like, if you're winning the mid lane, that's more punishing than it was before. And the other guy can't just, like, go pick up bounty or pick up water runes and be like, lol, I'm fine. Let's keep laning. Uh, Solar Crest nerfed by 10 attack speed, but I think you'll still get it. It's very cheap. Uh, still, still offers a lot for what its price is. So, of course, 10 attack speed is a nerf. But, like, I I think you'll still get it. I think it's still really strong. Same with Bassy. This uh, self mana going down by 0.1. It was pretty good for a lot of people um, who were buying it for themselves. It was good for the buyer. It's now slightly worse for the buyer. But I think, like, if you still want mana, like, <laughs> there's only so many mana options at the start of the game anyways. I think Bassy will still be fine. Uh, SNY and uh, Kai and Sanj nerfed a little bit. I don't think it's too big of a deal, though. Now, this sentry change is cool. 85 seconds every 10 minutes gave you about 7 sentries um, in those 10 minutes. It's now down by 10 seconds, so now you have about 8 sentries every 10 minutes. I just released the video today, but um, I think this just helps to alleviate the issue I mentioned, which is, like, there's so many places to check, and you only have so many sentries. Um, so it, it made warding, it made de-warding kind of complicated, um, to try to like get everywhere, um, due to the radius change to the sentries. Now there's another one you can buy. Um, they're only 50 gold as well. So like, yeah, it's another sentry you have to buy as a support, but it's 50 gold over the course of 10 minutes. Like that's not too bad. It's like one last hit. So I think this should help, uh, with the invis heroes and the, the warding in general, um, and it shouldn't be, like, too game-changing. I mean, it is just one extra sentry every 10 minutes, um, which for shorter and, like, medium-length games, probably not that noticeable, to be honest. But in games where there's a lot of invis or it drags on really late, this will be more noticeable, I think, because um, it's a one, sen one sentry every 10 minutes, you know? So, like, in a 60-minute game, that's six extra sentries um, that can enter the game. Um, <laughs> people like techies uh rickies bounty hunters like those invis heroes um this will be nice against so some slight buffs here i won't mention them all because it is just the highlights but beastmaster should not be first phase every game uh, at the pro level and should not be so busted in pubs either deceptors are losing their bonus damage uh so this 7.29 introduced 40 damage then it got nerfed to 30 and now it's totally gone so I think the build is still possible um, because the build, the patch also made it like cost less mana and all of that. And so if you want to do a Beastmaster's Ags Axe build, that was a mouthful. Um, I think it still works, but it's not going to be every single game, the build Axe Master, you know? The other buffs to the hero are trying to encourage Beast Master, uh, where he plays around with his boars and stuff like that. So I think we'll see more people test that out again and less people always going for this Ags build, um, which was really irritating, especially with the uh, nerf to Kai and Sanj. So hopefully he won't be uh, in everyone's games all the time. Uh, Broodmother, losing maximum movement speed. I, I'm i just going to point this out for the couple heroes it does affect. It does seem like they're trying to tone down for a while. Like a lot of people, a lot of heroes got this like crazy move speed and it's getting a little crazy so they're kind of toning some of that stuff down same with the cast range challenge uh talents they removed kind of like toning it back um because people were going zooming everywhere casting from like super far away um 
So I don't. <laughs> Do you guys play against that many brood mothers? I know I don't. Uh, she's always been a niche cheese hero a bit, um, which I thought her, the changes would kind of expand her pool a bit. So I don't know if like this will be that noticeable, but I do want to point out that these max move speeds are being removed. Uh, Centaur was on the stronger side, is getting nerfed three seconds on the level one hoof stomp, which there were a variety of ways of, to build Centaur, um, but one of them was to leave hoof stomp at level one. And so now you'll have three more seconds on that stun, um, which will which will definitely matter. Um, you may not notice it every single game, but there will be moments where it's like, oh, if I could have stunned like just there, that would have been the kill. And so Centaur should be a little worse. I don't think the 10 talent's too big of a deal. Dawnbreaker, S tier position four, was just lost one base armor at level one um, because she just lost six Agi to start. That's one armor. So that's kind of a big deal. But then her growth got hurt a lot as well, 0.7. Um, so her armor is going to be a lot lower over the course of the game, at the very start of the game and then over the course of the game. Now, obviously, that hurts because, like, you look at the hero and she's pretty tanky. Um, she has a lot of health and had a lot of armor. It's going to be a little lower. But don't forget, she also heals a lot. Um, and healing becomes worth more when you have a lot of armor and magic resist. So this also hurts her healing as well. Um, so I think this will help to uh, tone her down a bit. The mana cost as well on core Dawnbreaker, 30 extra mana at max level. So at level one, it's still fine, the same mana cost. And it, it was a pretty value skill point in the lane at level one. Um, but it was kind of her mobility and kind of farming tool. And so now it's going to cost 30 extra mana every time she wants to do that. And that's definitely going to dig into her mana pool. So this should help nerf her down a bit. Uh, some sort of a nerf to Grimstroke. His level 4 stun is down by 0.2 seconds, but it's actually up by 0.1 at uh, level 1. Um, but then nerfs to general move speed on the other spells. So like I, there is this trend of like reducing move speed a bit, um, it seems. I think the hero will still be fine. And in fact, it's kind of interesting. Maybe this 0.1 second will help in the early game, especially if you were only going one point in Inkswell. Um, and maybe it'll encourage other builds a little bit more than uh, than the like max Inkswell build. But it does hurt in the uh, mid to late game when you had Inkswell maxed out by 0.2 seconds, but shouldn't be too game-breaking or anything. Hoodwink support a little better, but I think she still has some other issues. But it should be harder to dodge the stun now, is what all these come to. And then the stun's slightly longer, 0.1 seconds. Invoker, kind of losing a lot of attack speed for the uh, Quas Wex build. Uh, it's been a little more popular lately rather than the uh, Quas Exhort. So, I don't know. This might encourage more Quas Exhort invokers instead. Because uh, this is a lot of attack speed per Wex. So, it's seven. Um, essentially, seven per orb. That's 21 attack speed he just lost. Um, which is not like the end of the world, but I don't know. It's... That's 21 attack speed uh, when he has Wex maxed out. So it should tone down Quas Wex Invoker, but I didn't think it was that broken anyways. Um, but I don't know. Maybe I haven't... Maybe I just haven't been seeing too much Invoker. Keeper of the Light is looking good for... <laughs> this is supposed to be highlights. We still kind of went through all of them. I don't know. Um, I think Keeper of the Light should be better for like coordinated teams. Like They're buffing the heal and the cooldown. But coordinated teams, like in pro matches or like if you play with your party. In pubs, in theory, it's still better. But I don't know. It's like kind of hard to coordinate this stuff. Like, can we please push together? And it's like, no, I don't want to. It's like, oh, well, all right. Um, so I think it'll be good for like coordinated teams. Kanga, 10 move speed, guys. Support Kanga might be happening. Um, honestly, I think it probably still needs a light, a slight buff. I don't know. I'm going to try it on stream tomorrow. I don't think it'll be... It's not going to be broken or anything, guys. But it might be workable. 315 is pretty fast. This is about as fast as Gyrocopter. It is as fast as Gyrocopter, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, so, Konka might be able to start with, like... I don't know. Uh, I have to theory craft some items tonight, guys. But you got to be super fast with Konka. Or um, decently fast. And then have, like, a bunch of other items. So, maybe. Maybe it's workable, guys. We're going to try it. Lycan, also faster. Uh, pirates as fast as wolves. We'll see. Uh, I think people are still trying to figure out Lycan, so some slight buffs to him to help uh, figure his way out. Um, small buff to Magnus. 
Monkey King, better level one stun um, in terms of duration, slightly longer cooldown. But at late game, it is the same stun duration, but two seconds less. He's also getting slightly better vision on his uh, tree dance and his talent. Uh, about 100 in the day. Wait, 100 at night and 50 in the day, I think. Um, either way, it's like slightly more vision. So some nice utility buffs to Monkey King. Uh, Vendetta also losing the max move speed. This was the popular build. Tranquils, Yules, uh, Shard. So might still be the build, but he's not going to be as fast. I actually don't remember how fast he went over the max move speed, um, but he's he's not doing it anymore. So uh, Nyx apparently had really good numbers when Jin and I were looking at him, uh, which was a little unexpected, and maybe this is part of the reason. So, I mean, it is a nerf. It'll be harder to find heroes ever so slightly because you're not so fast. Puck, 10 extra seconds on Dream Coil. I think that's a big deal. Uh, Puck was just like, had this like very active play style with Dream Coil being only 70 seconds. And if you think about it, late game, uh, the death timer is like 100 seconds. So you kill someone, 70 seconds for your ult to come back up. And then you have 30 seconds to go find another kill to keep the enemy like down a hero. Now you're only going to have 20 seconds to find that next kill, which maybe you still do, but that is less time before the enemy is up as five. And then you have to be a little more cautious. So I, to me, what makes Puck really strong was the high active play style enabled by this low cooldown dream coil. And 10 seconds is a big deal to me. Um, the break damage also changed, but I think this is like less, less of an issue. I, I really think it's the cooldown that made this hero so strong because sometimes you don't even snap the coil, you know? And the reason it's strong is because they're stuck there, um, rather than the damage. But of course the damage was nice too. Quop getting some buffs. We might see her a bit more, um, little shredder, unfortunately costing more mana and you have less time to use it, but I still think it's pretty good. Uh, the damage is quite high for... A level 7 support, it's like uh, 570 damage. And if you are hitting someone right away anyways, the extra seconds don't matter too much. But there were cases where you would hold on to a couple. Um, just so happens, like, you didn't get to hit them all and you were, like, trying to chase them. You're going to lose them sooner now. Um, so I think you'll have to be a little more picky with how you use Little Shredder. Because it's going to be, it's literally costing you more um, if you don't get to use the whole thing. And even if you do get to do the whole thing, it is costing you more. So you have to be, you either have to buy more mana regen or just be a little more careful. I, I still think it'll be a fun build. Um, and I still think she's a pretty strong hero, but it is a uh, 15 mana is a, uh, is a sizable amount. TB, slight buff, timber sauce, slight nerf to uh, shard. All right. That's that. That's the highlights guys. So um, yeah, nothing like too crazy. The biggest changes were really to like Beastmaster and maybe Dawnbreaker. Um, just like some slight, oh, and uh, I feel like this is a big nerf. Uh, I don't know how about you guys feel. The rest to me feel like minor buffs and nerfs to uh, balance out some of these uh, heroes at you know either edge of the uh, the win rates. So yeah, I don't think the uh, the meta will shift too much with all this. Maybe a bit better, a little easier on the warding life for supports um, with the uh, more sentries. But besides that, oh, and the mid lane should become a little more punishing. That might be sleeper big change. But I, I'm not a mid player, so I'm not sure how much 20 HP was to these guys. But uh, it'll affect it a little bit. But to how far, I'm not sure because I, I don't play mid. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching. Let's all go play some Dota. <laughs> if you're watching this, I don't know when you watch it, but I'll be uh, streaming Kunkka support tomorrow. So come check it out. We'll see. I might just be feeding all the games. We'll see. Bye.